Hey family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're joining us for the first time, you're welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on post notifications to get notified when we post new videos. Today we are making afang soup. Afang is a very popular dish in a Ibom state or in Calabar. It's their native food, but you can see that <laughs> this is our afang again is looking looking so yummy and it tastes so yummy if you want to see how i made that please stick with me yes throughout this video to see how i made that i want to start off by washing up my periwinkle thoroughly yeah i want to show you how you can wash your periwinkle because a lot of people don't really know how to do this periwinkle and you know make it neat you go to some restaurant you test your periwinkle is testing so bitter or it has this very um i don't know if it's this sandy feeling beneath it when you just you know suck it all out so many people don't really like you um, eating periwinkle because they feel like periwinkle normally comes out dirty how people can't wash it just the way people avoid catfish so i want to show you how you can wash your periwinkle thoroughly to give it that very very nice taste to avoid it from getting bitter or having that sandy or dusty feeling when somebody suck it like yeah so you can see how i'm doing in the video you're going to wash that perim because it has this very clean water on top of it yeah so for this now i want to shake it you see that shaking eh? it is very very necessary that's salt i added salt that shaking is very very necessary because that's what is going to bring out the old dirty the old dirty particles you know so i'm just shaking like you can see that i'm doing in the video you can actually use any bowl you want as long as it is going to shake it properly and not allow your periwinkle to you know throw throw all around the kitchen so i'm using this properly seed bowl because i don't want my periwinkle to be jumping all around that's why i'm using this bowl that has its own cover so you can see how after shaking we already had a neat water but after shaking you notice that the water is not looking neat again so you are going to repeat the process shake it again and repeat the process rinse it thoroughly yes please you don't want anybody to complain that your parent is bitter and you too you cannot be able to eat it if it's bitter so you want to wash this thoroughly now it doesn't end here you're going to get a clean pot transfer your parent into the pot then go ahead and add water and salt Yes, we want to bring this to a boil because we want everything that is remaining inside, every dirty that is remaining inside to come out. Yes, some people don't do this, but this is how I like my perinko being done because I want it to be very neat. Yes, because what I can eat, I can give to my customers. So while that is boiling, you're going to transfer your meat into a clean pot. You can use any protein of your choice, goat meat, but for this recipe, I'm using cow meat. So that I had an onion seasoning cube salt and please if you know me you know i don't have water when i'm boiling my meat because i want the meat to release its own flavor and its own stock you're just going to test that to know if your seasoning is well incorporated and you're just going to close that and bring it to a boil please you want to check your meat from time to time because you don't want a burnt meat we're just going to go ahead and check on our perinko because definitely we are not boiling the shell <laughs> so we just want a very neat perinko you can see that the water is still not looking that neat but at least it's not bad yeah we're going to sieve that and bring it out from the pot so just going to check in our meat to know if it's okay you know so now we want to add in more water but please while adding water be very careful because any recipe that requires you to use water leaf you don't need too much water otherwise you're just going to end up having ocean as a pot of soup you just want to manage your water properly because the water leaf is still going to bring out its own water now we're going to go in had a washed from our stock fish one lap fish that's dry one lap uh, perinko and red hoy you can use any fish of your choice but i prefer using panla i did a fresh pepper in a blended crayfish yes more crayfish and just stay that we want to close this you can see i brought it very close so you can see that this um stock doesn't have much water in it i had to bring it very close so you can see that it's as if the water is not even enough but don't be scared leave it like that the water leaf is just going to do 
justice. It's better you add water at the end of this procedure than you are going to be, you know, trying to sieve out water. <laughs> yeah, if that if that makes sense. So we're going to just we're just going to add in our water leaf and just give that a very good stir and allow everything to sit in well, allow everything to boil. While it's boiling, the water leaf is still going to release its own water. I added more hoy because I felt the hoy in the meal is not looking okay, or it was not okay, so I added more hoy. Yeah, but if you know that the hoy you added before was okay, you don't need to add more hoy. I added more crayfish because that's how I do it. I always like to leave crayfish. I always share my crayfish into two. You know, halal want to boil at first and add in the other one. You can see what I'm talking about. The water leaves have already released its own water. So this is the ukazi leaf. Yes, this is the king of this meal, the king of this recipe. We're just going to stir our meal after adding our ukazi. So the water leaf, I didn't add everything because I wanted to monitor the okazi and the water leaf because I don't want any other anyone to be more than anyone. I want everything to be, you know, the ratio to be balanced. So I give that gave that a good stay and added in the water leaf, the remaining water leaf. I added a little bit of water. Yeah, I added a little bit of water because I don't want the soup to be too too thick. You know, I want it to be thick, but not too thick. You can see the consistency, like this is looking very, very nice and it's looking very, very hokey. It's thick, but it's not too thick. Yeah, so I'm just going to stir that. I have to bring it close so you guys can see this amazing delicacy. Voila, we have made a very, very nutritious and delicious meal. Do you think because you're not an acquired you cannot make this meal? Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to like and comment. Thank you very much.